is a very good shot by Hughes. He get two runs for it, but he really cut it very well indeed. He's batted very well in the series, Merv Hughes. Showing a lot of fight. Poor piece of bowling, really. Neat shot. Turned very neatly off the legs. This has not been an impressive spell at all by Patterson. Seems just to lack a little uh, enthusiasm. And Malcolm Marshall will have to relieve Patterson from the city end. Murphy's is enjoying himself up there. So that's the Australian 400. And it's the second successive test match that they've reached that figure. They've got 401 in Sydney. And now here they are, 8 for 400. That was a nasty one too. It shook up the big fast bowler. Helmet or not, it was right on the back of the head. And that has hit him. He's got uh, some protection there, but I should think that probably hit him on the arm. And uh, he's in a lot of pain out there at the moment. That's got him on the right arm this time. But as the wickets cowered safely behind Merv's massive frame, he was getting cross in more ways than one. Like a prize fighter, the fast bowler collected himself, shook off his hammering and delivered the odd body blow of his own. That's a good shot from Merv Hughes. Straight down the ground, he appreciates Courtney Walsh's uh, slightly slower pace, 8 for 427. A good shot for four. A lovely square drive. And the crowd is rising to Merv Hughes here. He's been struck all over the body and the arms, and he's just produced a classic square drive. And what's more, that's the 50 partnership too. What a useful partnership, and this is his best shot by miles today. Beautifully into position there, opening the face of the bat a little bit and uh, just caressing it on its way down there to the point boundary. Cracking shot. Malcolm Marshall would not have been treated like that many times in his great career. Here's a man with 307 test wickets and the number 10 batsman clobbers him through extra cover. Join in the celebrations. That's gone for six. And what a way for him to get his highest first class score with a six off the last ball before T. And now 50. And no lower order batsman has ever more deserved a half century. The very, very courageous knock there. They pounded him all over the body and on the helmet, he stuck at it. He thoroughly deserves the plaudits of the crowd. He's got it, there's the 100 run partnership and listen to the roar. It's gone again. This time he makes no mistake. Wow, Mervyn Hughes having a field day at the Adelaide Oval. Look at that, eh? A couple of great fast bowlers, eye ball to eye ball, talking about how they're going to dissect a bowling attack. Finally, with Hughes looking set for one of the most surprising centuries in Test cricket, partner Whitney ended a great Australian innings. And there we are, that's the end. The outside edge, Patrick Patterson takes a wicket, Michael Whitney goes, and Mervyn Hughes remains unbeaten and a very very good knock just chock a block full of courage <laughs>